Actually, I think I put it. I put a chair in front of the door, so we'll just kind of. If we hear anything in there, I'll leave it partly open. Welcome, everybody. Call the meeting to order. This is a public hearing, uh, March the 12th, Monday. We're getting started a few minutes late, uh, three minutes late. We apologize for that. Um, we uh, acknowledge that we're gathering on the traditional territories of the Lekwungen speaking people, known today as the Songhees and the Esquimalt, and uh, their connection uh, historically to this land continues to this day. Uh, we also advise you that we're on video streaming live streaming and uh, they will be archived uh, and available on the municipal website. Uh, welcome everybody. Um, I'm Nils Jensen and on behalf of council I, uh, I greet you all. Uh, we have three uh, heritage public um, heritage designation bylaws to be considered tonight and this is uh, they're all uh, three uh, different uh, public hearings. We have bylaw 4706 which relates to 9799 uh, Linkley's Avenue bylaw 4707 in relation to 1202 Oliver Street and then bylaw 4708 in regards to 1526 Beach Drive. Uh, they are going to be introduced uh, by uh, our staff in a few minutes in, in some detail. Uh, we've already um, had uh, meetings and uh, about these uh, particular uh, bylaws. In fact, uh, we've given initial readings to them uh, or approved them initially subject to the uh, final outcome. And uh, the, there is a, a set pattern that we're going to go through with each one of these. Um, and the pattern is we, uh, we ask our staff to present it. Uh, uh, we receive certain documentation. Uh, and then uh, I invite uh, uh, and the uh, uh, presentation on the application. And then after uh, that, uh, we will open the floor and anyone who wishes to come forward to the microphone to speak. All speakers are required and we requested to provide your name and the municipality where you live. Uh, and also there's a form on the podium there that you can fill out so we ensure that we get the correct spelling. So this is a public hearing. It's a little bit different than, uh, um, than our committee of the whole and uh, where there's a bit of give and take. Uh, this is an opportunity for a council uh, to, to listen to any speakers and of course the presentations themselves. Um, so this isn't a question and answer period, uh, and uh, it is a little bit uh, formulaic, and uh, some of you may have seen uh, this already. So um, 
and if there's anyone who comes to the uh, microphone, uh, you should be aware that if you've written something, it will have been before us. Uh, be as concise as possible, uh, be respectful, and uh, ref I ask everyone to refrain from clapping and cheering, although this doesn't look like a clapping and cheering audience, uh, so it should be um, fine. Uh, uh, we can all clap if the uh, bylaw passes and, and congratulate the, uh, the people who've come forward to have their, designate, uh, their homes designated. We really appreciate that. So we do have uh, documents that, uh, that are before us and have been before us uh, on previous occasions. Um, immediately following these public hearings, we, uh, seven o'clock tonight, we'll go into the uh, uh, formal council setting uh, where, um, depending on the outcome of the hearings, we will have the bylaws actually before us for consideration. And uh, in that interim, I ask you uh, not to present any new uh, new evidence or uh, new documents to council members between the end of public hearing and when we consider it as council. So um, thank you very much for everyone coming tonight. So let's start with uh, the first bylaw, which is 4706, uh, which relates to 799 Linkley's Avenue. So I call upon the Director of Building and Planning, please, to outline the, the purpose of this bylaw. Thank you. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, the first item on the agenda being bylaw 4706 would consider a heritage designation for both the land and the residential home at 799 Link Lease. The home is already on the Oak Bay Heritage Register and the applicant, which is Joan Hagel, the, the property owner, is proposing to designate both the home and the land. So specific features that have been identified for designation include three mature trees that stand at the front and the side of the property as well as interior fireplaces and wood moldings. The home itself is one of the few original houses constructed as part of the Golf Links Park subdivision and was constructed in 1913, still retaining many of its original features. Thank you very much. Um, our next step um, is to uh, receive the written submissions that we have uh, uh, gotten on, on this bylaw and distributed uh, prior to the public hearing. Second. Moved and seconded, thank you. Discussion, all in favor, opposed, none opposed. Uh, now, um, any written submissions not previously distributed? Um, are there any? No, there are none, thank you. And are there any uh, pieces of correspondence which uh, haven't been distributed, which have been received? Uh, there were some submissions received after the February 26th deadline, so we should have a motion to receive those. All right, so motion to receive those, okay, is that so? Second. Thank you very much. Moved and seconded. Discussion, all in favor? Opposed, not opposed. Now, are there any late items that we have to read out? No, there are okay. Not. So, uh, the applicant, I didn't see Ms. Hagel here. All right, um, thank you. And uh, now, uh, any uh, person uh, wish to come forward? Uh, who have uh, an interest or deem there have an interest in the property affected by the bylaw, please come forward and address us at this point. First call. I don't see a rush, a rush to the microphone. Second call. And third call. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, motion to adjourn this particular segment. Move adjournment. Uh, thank you. Okay. And all discussion. All in favor? Opposed, none opposed. We move on to 1208 Oliver Street. Please, same uh, uh, format. Uh, Ms. Jensen, please um, proceed to describe the purpose of the bylaw. Thank you, Your Worship. Bylaw 4707 would consider a heritage designation for the residential home at 1208 Oliver Street. The property owner, Ralph Lapp, has proposed to heritage designate the residential home. It would not apply to the lands or the detached garage but it does specifically identify an interior granite fireplace which is located on the main floor of the home. The home itself was constructed in 1911 for the Honorable Henry Young, uh, who was Provincial Secretary and Minister of Education. The home was designed by H.S. Griffith, was also the home to architect John DeCastri, and was the site of the Emily Carr's 70th birthday party. The classic revival style retains many of its original features, including stained glass throughout the home. Thank you very much, Ms. Jensen. Uh, now, the next step is to receive submissions uh, that we, uh, we had before February 26th, please. 
moved and seconded. Yep. Discussion? Moved. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Opposed? None opposed. Written submissions uh, between the, and there are none. Any uh, late items? There are none. Uh, the, I do see the applicant here, uh, Dr. Lapp. Uh, welcome. Thank you very much for uh, bringing the, uh, the wonderful home forward. Do you wish to say anything that hasn't been said already? Please come forward. Thank you. Your Worship and Council, uh, I'm Ralph Lapp. Um, it's nice to see some faces that I haven't seen in a while, uh, Tom. Um, it is a real honor to be able to uh, take part in this whole process. I thought that the committee members who came were very thorough and appreciative. Um, it was wonderful to show them around, and the home has uh, some wonderful history. I really enjoyed telling them some of the vignettes, um, probably regaled them ad nauseum, who knows. But um, anyway, um, it, it really is an honor, and uh, I hope that this process continues with strength. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doctor. Uh, anyone else wishes, uh, deems to have an interest in the property, wishes to address us? First call. Second call. Third call. Okay, motion to adjourn that part of the public hearing Move adjournment. <laughs> Moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? None opposed. Thank you very much. Uh, last but not least, 1526 Beach Drive, please. Ms. Jensen. Uh, Your Worship, the last item is bylaw 4708 to consider heritage designation for the residential home at 1526 Beach Drive. As with the previous bylaw, the proposed designation does not apply to the lands or to the detached garage. It is specific to the existing home. Uh, this home was built for Matilda Haynes in 1939, is a good example of a storybook home with numerous peaks, rolled eaves, asymmetrical massing, and a recessed front entryway. Uh, the current property owner, Teresa Cambides, is interested in designating the home. Thank you very much. Uh, written submissions prior to February 26th for rec receipt, please. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? None opposed. Any, sub any written submissions after that time? None. Any very late ones? None. Uh, and the applicant? Okay. Do you wish to address us and uh, give us a little? No? That's fine. Thank you very much, and thanks for coming forward and to uh, have the designation done. Really appreciate that. Anyone else who wishes to come forward with deems an interest in the property affected by the bylaw? Uh, call for a uh, first time, call for a second time, call for a third time. Uh, now a motion to adjourn that portion of the move public hearing, please. Move second. Adjourn, move and second. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? None opposed? And um, we're just the public hearing that uh, uh, adjournment uh, overall, please. Second. Okay. Discussion. The only discussion I have is to thank the the two applicants here and the third applicant who's not here, of course. Uh, this we're really <laughs> seeing a flurry, and it's a wonderful flurry of uh, of designations uh, coming forward, uh, and it's a uh, it's a great thing it's for people to come forward and offer up their house of, to be designated. It's great for the community. So, thank you very much. We'll consider the bylaws at seven o'clock shortly thereafter. Alrighty. Uh, all in favor? Opposed, none opposed. Thank you very much. We stand adjourned until 7 o'clock, please. Did I miss, miss the whole thing. <laughs> Wait, is there early for the next one? I'm either late or early, right? <laughs> <laughs> Timing is everything. <laughs> I was here.